On today's episode, Tesla's new Project Redwood EV, a $500 million Dojo supercomputer is revealed, and the Tesla bot is coming sooner than you think. Tesla's next generation electric vehicle finally has a name, Project Redwood, and the company is planning for a release in the summer of 2025. According to an anonymous report sourced from Reuters, Tesla has already begun the process by putting out a request for quotes to parts suppliers back in 2023. The unnamed sources within Tesla claim that the new vehicle design is in the style of a compact crossover SUV, and the company is forecasting to begin production on their new $25,000 vehicle platform in June of 2025, with volume production to likely start in 2026. This timeline was confirmed by Elon Musk himself in a post-earnings call, where the CEO stated that he expects to begin production of the next-generation EV at Tesla's Texas Gigafactory in the second half of 2025, and he added that this isn't just Elon time we're talking about here. Musk said, quote, I'm often optimistic regarding time, but our current schedule shows that we will start production towards the end of 2025. But Elon also did some foreshadowing that his new production ramp will not be easy, saying we'll be sleeping on the line practically, recalling memories of the production hell scenario around the release of Tesla's Model 3 platform. Production at Giga Texas will be followed by Giga Mexico and another factory outside of North America, likely Giga Berlin or Giga Shanghai, which will be decided later this year. However, Tesla has also expressed interest in building a new factory in India in a bid to lower costs further in their vehicle production. So that's another potential location for this new vehicle. This is reportedly aiming for a manufacturing rate of about 10,000 units per week once volume production begins. While a steep estimate for a brand new vehicle, the innovative design of the Redwood platform will hopefully reduce production setbacks and allow for higher goals to be reached and 10,000 per week isn't too far off from the global production numbers set by the Model 3 and Y last year. Tesla has been hyping this new platform since about 2020, and more explicitly since the Investor's Day presentation back in March 2023, when the vehicle was officially confirmed alongside the new Gigafactory in Mexico. It has been described as a cheap utilitarian offering that could possibly take design cues from the Model Y and the Cybertruck's futuristic look, but more importantly, will allow Tesla to take another crack at their robo-taxi concept, which will be designed exclusively as an autonomous ride-hailing service vehicle. Project Redwood is likely to be a game-changer within the EV market. A $25,000 per unit price point in a fully electric vehicle has proven difficult to achieve outside of Asia, where the Chinese company BYD has recently moved into the top spot as the largest EV maker in the world, their growth fueled by deeply affordable vehicles that start under $20,000 US dollars. The Reuters report even mentions that production models of the dependable Honda Civic are being torn down in factory at Tesla in order to learn from their cost-effective manufacturing while retaining the quality. And this is a bit of a side note, but could Project Redwood have any connection with Redwood Materials? This company is run by Tesla co-founder JB Straubel and is working to create a circular battery economy using recycled materials to produce cheaper batteries. Tesla and Panasonic also recently partnered with Redwood to build a $3.5 billion battery materials plant in South Carolina, breaking ground for the project last week. While this is just speculation, the name connection could link the two projects together, and using a battery made with mostly recycled materials as a standard for this new vehicle could help to further control costs. Aside from that though, Project Redwood is another eagerly awaited Tesla product, and 2024 will likely be filled with sightings of new prototypes. Tesla is reportedly making a $500 million investment to build an enormous Dojo supercomputer cluster at their Gigafactory in Buffalo, New York to help power their full self-driving program. This comes despite the loss of a couple of notable leaders of the project last month. New York State Governor Kathy Hochul announced the investment on January 26th, which was confirmed later that same day by CEO Elon Musk on X. 
Governor Hochul said that the new supercomputer installation would process millions of terabytes of data for FSD, which is what prompted Elon to make a small correction in his social media post. Musk is being careful here to note that the new Dojo hardware wouldn't be much more than a similar NVIDIA system that Tesla currently uses to run their AI cluster and will apparently be buying more of this year along with some AMD chips to compensate for the slower rollout of the company's proprietary Dojo systems. This particular supercomputer setup will likely be used to sort data for Tesla's full self-driving software, just as Governor Hochul said, and will be installed in the New York Gigafactory, which primarily makes the company's solar products like solar roof tiles. Past events like the Investor Day presentation in March last year have shown that Tesla's work with their full self-driving system is being done in tandem with their development of the Dojo supercomputer. The new FSD software, which began rolling out in mid-January, is a learning system using video from Tesla vehicles to train the vehicle on how to handle road conditions rather than using hard coding. The Dojo supercomputer is a big piece of this puzzle, able to sort through and train this learning algorithm quickly via simulations before sending it back out across the network to Tesla vehicles. The new Dojo installation means more jobs for FSD technicians, as well as better support for local beta testers, even though Tesla seems to be more careful with hyping the new computer hardware than they were. For those of us who watched the unveiling event at AI Day in 2021, it seemed like Tesla was ready to make a run at removing all of their older NVIDIA hardware. The system's ability to train machine learning algorithms using much less physical space was a big selling point at the time, and to be fair, the company has slowly been adding to their dojo cluster in Palo Alto, California for most of 2023. But it seems like all is not entirely well in the dojo team, as project lead Ganesh Venkataramanan quietly left the company in December, leaving Tesla's executive director Peter Bannon in charge. This might be what prompted Elon to describe Dojo as a long shot during the earnings call just days before the New York governor's announcement, but we can't be certain. What we can say is that Dojo has been suffering from numerous delays, and while the first Dojo cluster came online last summer, and this new investment will start a new cluster on the East Coast, it seems like development will continue to be a little slow. Something that we are constantly striving for with this channel is education. My number one goal has always been to help you learn something new about the technology that is changing our world. You don't have to be an expert to watch the Tesla space. I'm certainly not an expert myself and I'm learning right along with you. So I'm constantly in search of free and easy methods to learn more about how science and technology affect the world around us and shape our future. And the best way for me personally to learn new things is by doing hands-on activities. This is why I've become such a fan of today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant is the best way to learn math, data science, and computer science interactively. Brilliant offers thousands of lessons in STEM fields that cover all levels from basics to advanced topics. The more you learn about STEM, the closer you get to understanding how technology is changing our world, and I think that's pretty cool, which is why I'm inviting you to give Brilliant a shot. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash the Tesla space or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Tesla is aiming to ship a few of the new Optimus units in 2025 on the heels of a new promotional video of the robot folding clothes. During Tesla's earnings call made on January 24th, a very optimistic new target for the potential production launch of Optimus, the Tesla robot, was mentioned by CEO Elon Musk. He said that he believes the company has a good chance of shipping some number of Optimus units next year. However, it seems that even other Tesla executives are concerned with what Optimus is currently capable of in order for buyers to be interested in the product. Another Tesla executive in the call commented that currently the bot is in testing and there's a barrier to get over in terms of getting Optimus to actually do anything useful, which is fair enough. Even Elon admitted that the robot cannot perform tasks such as folding the laundry autonomously yet. However, Optimus has made giant strides forward in the tasks it is able to perform. 
In such a short amount of time, from September 2022 to December of last year, the robot has made impressive strides forward in its speed, dexterity, and the complexity of tasks it is able to perform compared to the Bumblebee prototype. Being 10 kilograms lighter, the Gen 2 is also able to walk about 30% faster than the previous model. In the December update of 2023, the engineering team showed Optimus was a learning system utilizing training from end-to-end -end neural nets in order to gain new skills. According to Milan Kovic, one of the lead engineers on the project, the robot will be able to eventually tackle increasingly complex tasks by collecting the data needed to train end-to-end -end neural nets so that it can begin doing those tasks autonomously, as well as verifying if their current production models have the dexterity to be able to perform those tasks. Part of that dexterity needed for smaller, more delicate tasks comes from the new tactile sensors in the fingertips and better motor control with in-house actuators, both of which were showcased in the December update video that prompted Elon to predict that Optimus would be able to thread a needle by next year. Aside from the more domestic uses, Tesla is also hoping to leverage this increased performance into their car manufacturing line, where the Optimus would be utilized for dangerous or repetitive tasks on the line that would be difficult for a human. Whether the Tesla bot can manage to do enough of these tasks by next year or not is entirely up to the Optimus engineering team and their ability to keep this pace until then.